Chaotic scenes Sunday morning, just a short drive from the center of Nairobi. Protesters arming themselves with whatever's on hand. They're calling for revenge. It all relates to attacks reported in Nairobi overnight, apparently perpetrated by so-called militants as yet unidentified. <laughs> Dozens of people have been killed over the past few months as Kenya's election crisis drags on. Residents have been speaking to us, telling us what happened. They killed six people here using guns and machetes last night. They claim only four people died. How can we be silent? When we protest, they use tear gas, and it's bad for our children. My toddler is suffering in the house. Those who died were all innocent and from our tribe. Let's be honest and not sugarcoat things. Kenya is divided on tribal lines right now. So when they kill them, we decided to revenge and burn their property. This area is considered a stronghold of the opposition. Elsewhere, the capital has been calm on Sunday. Sunday's violence comes on the eve of a ruling expected from the Supreme Court, whether to nullify the October election or to let the results stand. Raila Odinga says he will await that decision before announcing the next move for his supporters. Sonny Matthew, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.